what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And in today's video I'm gonna show you a few more extra steps you can do which are super easy to gain more FPS and reduce your input delay on Fortnite in Chapter 2 Season 7. And if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and without any further ado let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys for the first part of today's video I'm going to show you how to disable the high precision event timer which is just a super unnecessary feature on Windows which takes up huge chunks of your system power and all you guys have to do is go into your Windows search bar and type in device until you find the device manager and once you open up that window literally straight up go here down until you find the system devices just simply open this here up and then under H you can see here high precision event timer and yeah guys all you have to do is simply right click on it and press disable device and then simply go on yes here and you already completed the step if it looks exactly like mine here that there's like this small arrow it means that this device is disabled and trust me this is super unnecessary nothing can happen and this will only boost your FPS and now let's continue with the next step and yeah guys, with this next step I'm going to show you exactly how to make sure that your GPU is always running at 100% at its fullest potential and it's also super easy. All you guys have to do is go into your Windows search bar and type in power until you find the edit power plan in the control panel settings and then just simply open it up and then you see here the change advanced power settings thing just simply click on it you can minimize this window and all we have to care about is the power options tab here and all you guys have to do is simply scroll a little bit down until you find PCI Express just simply press the plus here and then you see link state power management again press the plus and as you can see this setting here is set to off for some people it might be on moderate power savings, maximum power savings, just simply make sure it's set to off and with that we make sure that our GPU is always running at 100% so we get the max FPS and the lowest input delay possible. Then just simply press apply, press ok and you already successfully applied this step as well and let's continue with the next one. And yeah guys, now I'm also going to show you how to enable the game mode on Windows 10 which will make sure that you get the lowest latency possible on Windows 10 while gaming and all you guys have to do is go into Windows search bar and just simply tap in game until you find game mode settings. And as you can see this new window here pops up and please make sure that your game mode is turned on. This is super important, tons of people always say that this does not really help, this does even maybe like lawyer FPS, this is not true guys. The game mode is really awesome, it's like one of the best features on Windows 10. But one thing which you can for sure turn off is the Xbox Game Bar because yeah just, just turn it off boys. There are so many better recording programs like I don't know the stock one from Nvidia you know Shadowplay or from AMD I don't know right now how it's called but definitely use those over the Xbox Game Bar. And once you go back to the game mode please make sure to go as well into graphic settings here on the top right corner. And as you can see we right now here have our graphic settings mode and there we have something which is called hardware acceleration GPU scheduling. And as it says already here, it reduces latency and improves performance, so make sure to turn this on. And one thing which you can also do here under graphics performance preferences is go here onto browse and just simply select your Fortnite Exa, you know, your Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping Exa. Just simply select it, press add. And now as you can see, we added Fortnite here and just simply go into options and make sure to put it on high performance. It will also tell you which um, GPU you're running. Um, it basically is the same for every GPU. It will always only boost your FPS. So always um, make sure to turn this on. Just simply put the check here for high performance, press save, and now you get everything applied correctly. And yeah, your Windows 10 is optimized the best way for gaming. And yeah guys, now in this next step, I'm going to show you how you can speed up your hard drives on Windows 10 and it's super easy guys. Um, all you have to do is go into your Windows search bar and type in defragment until you find the defragment and optimize drive setting. Just simply open it up and I would recommend you to do this probably every two to three weeks. It's super important guys because Windows is always like, you know, like sorting data on your hard drive and each time you have like new data, Windows needs longer to load up programs or properly work in the background. And what I would recommend you to do is, as mentioned, every two to three weeks, just simply click on optimize here. So you optimize each of these drives here and just make also sure to go on analyze afterwards if it's available. Um, and yeah, what is Windows here doing is pretty much it's like sorting um, perfectly where some um, data are on your hard drive and therefore you're just gonna save up some time because Windows doesn't have to search for specific applications and stuff in the background um, which is just slowing down your system so therefore please make sure to do this at least every month and yeah this is also gonna improve your gaming experience because it can like faster load up textures or important stuff for gaming programs and all that stuff and yeah, once you're done with that, just simply close the window and you should be good to go here with this step as well. And yeah guys, in this next step, I'm going to show you how you can literally reduce the delay of any input device you're using. It doesn't matter if it's a mouse and keyboard or a controller, it literally works for both. So all you guys have to do is go into your Windows search bar and type in device until you find the device manager. Just simply open it up again, guys. And all you have to do is go into human interface devices. Just simply open it up here. And now you're gonna see your mouse and keyboard. 
And as you can see, for me, it's a G Pro Superlight and my keyboard is the SteelSeries Apex Pro. And what I want you to do is just simply right click on everything which is somehow related to your mouse and keyboard, go into properties, go into power management and make sure that this is unchecked. Allow the computer to turn off the device to save power. Make sure this is unchecked literally for every single one of these here. Just simply always go here into power management, make sure it's turned off properties again, power management that's already turned off and here as well. And this is just gonna make sure that they're like literally running at 100% is the easiest way to explain guys. And it's just gonna make sure that you have no input delay, you have no extra latency, which is unnecessary and unwanted, especially in competitive gaming. And yeah, once you're done with that, just simply close this window and you're pretty much done with this step here as well. And you guys, since there are so many new people on my channel, I'm also going to show you my Fortnite settings, which are the best for the least amount of input delay and the most FPS. And all you guys have to do is simply go into your Fortnite settings and copy everything here in my graphics quality tab and advanced tab one by one. As you can see, I'm running the alpha performance mode since it just gives you more FPS and more FPS equal less input delay. And the only thing which I have on medium is my viewing distance since I kind of need it for competitive and my mesh is on high since I can't really handle mobile builds. So if you want to go for the least amount of input delay, just simply put it on low. But yeah, I think it's all like personal preference. And for my graphics settings, as you can see, I'm right now using Triton Up 5. Um, this does not really affect your performance there, but I think, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to mention it here because like so many people are asking. And as we move over to our game settings, guys, just make sure to scroll all the way down until you find replays and turn everything off. Unless you're playing any sort of like scrims or you need it for like montages, just simply make sure to turn this off, guys. Um, this will only like um, cost you important FPS and it's not really necessary. And next up, as we go move over to the audio settings, you can see that I get my sound quality actually on low because that is not noticeable. You can't literally um, notice the difference between low and high, but your FPS will because higher um, sound quality does cause stutter and FPS loss. So therefore just simply make sure to turn it on low. And what I would also recommend you is put visualized sound effects off because this is only gonna cost you important FPS guys. I mean, you can literally listen straight up where enemies are coming from. I maybe get it like some people like it because it's maybe easier to spot enemies inside the building. But trust me, this is gonna put like so much workload onto your system and it's gonna cost you important FPS. So therefore also please make sure to turn this off. And with that said, you basically already applied everything which is important guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome, I'm out, peace. Up in the beam and watch us ride I've been fucking up lately, yeah, I just need my slime